We are here this morning in the Cork Association Apiary and we're going to demonstrate how to use Apibioxyl as a winter treatment for Varroa. Now Apibioxyl comes in a packet that looks like this. There's 37 grams of Apibioxyl in the product and we're going to look, the methods we're going to look at are the trickle method of dosing and then we're going to look at a vaporizing method. Now firstly, in order to make up the product, we had to mix up a sugar solution, 500 grams, one to one sugar and water, and then add the product that's in this packet into that solution. And um, we're then going to get it back into the syringe and I've just got a big syringe here that will take up to 50 milliliters um, of the product. Um, we need 5 grams per seam of bee and I'll show you what a seam of bee is in a minute when we open the hive. But all we're going to do is suck the warmed up product into the syringe and dose the bees. Okay, so I filled the syringe with 50 millilitres of the mixture and I'm now going to crack the crown board. And as you can see the bees are already up here in the fondant so I expect the bees to be just here at the top of the hive. And here we have one, two, three, four, five and a bit seams of bees. So we'll just put the product down on top of them very quickly. And we're done. going to look at is the use of this apibioxyl just in a powder form and we're looking at two different methods here the first one is the standard traditional vaporizer and you put 2.3 grams into that section there of the vaporizer but you need to connect it to a power supply like a battery and then put it in the door of the hive and leave it there for three minutes so that it's completely vaporized the second one we're going to look at is a new type of torch called a gas vape that we got last year where we put our 2.3 grams of our apibioxyl product into the cap there, light the torch, just turn it on and in about 40 seconds the hive is done. But the first job that we have to do here is actually block the entrance so that the vapors stay in the hive and we get as much or the best efficacy possible out of the product. It's very important that you'd have some sort of respirator or full face mask because you're actually vaporizing acid and you don't want to be in the firing line of the acid fumes getting into your lungs and damaging your lungs. We've blocked the entrance here but left a small hole so that I can just slide the vaporizer in to do the job. Three. The entrance and now I need to put the mask on just in case any fumes will come back to get at me. Now we need to leave the entrance closed up for about 15 minutes so the product will work properly. And we have another one down further that we did a couple of days ago so we, in 24 hours or 48 hours you can come back and have a look at your mic drop and we're going to take a look at one now that we did yesterday um, just to show you what sort of a mic drop you can get from this. This is a stock that we dosed yesterday 
and today we've come back to take a look to see what sort of a mic drop we have on it. And this is the insert board that we're taking out that was in underneath the floor. And if we look at it, we have one, two, three, four, five, six seams of bees inside in that particular stock. And the mite drop that we're getting, the mites can be seen, they're the brown small little things that we see after falling in those locations there. And it's quite a nice mite drop on that after 24 hours. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there's a whole heap of them here, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen.